Hi guys, I'm Sakura and I'm one of the co-founders of Blogettes. Today we're going to show you guys how to customize your brushes so you can hand letter. So there's of course so many different ways to do your hand lettering. You can even write it on a piece of paper, scan it, you know, do all that fun stuff. But I'm going to show you guys today how to do it in Photoshop and personally my favorite way of uh, customizing my Photoshop brush to do hand lettering. So obviously we're going to go into our brush tool, okay. create a new layer, always create a new layer when you're using your brush tool. Make sure your color mode is normal, opacity at 100% and your flow is at 100%. So there's a difference between a hard brush and a soft brush, which I'm sure you guys are familiar with, but I personally like to use a hard brush when I'm doing hand lettering. So let's open up our window, our brush palette. So go to window and go to brush. Okay, this guy will pop up. Now this is where you're going to be able to customize your Photoshop brush. So like I said, I, like, I personally like to use a hard brush. So the difference between a soft brush and a hard brush, you can kind of tell the difference right here. This guy right here on the left hand side is a soft brush. This guy right here is a hard brush. You can always adjust right here by hardness too, but I like to keep it at 100%. So here is where you can customize your brushes. We're going to select the hard brush. Okay. And here you can adjust the sizing, but I like to keep mine a little bit on the smaller side. And the angle and the roundness is the big part about hand lettering, and that's where you'll really want to customize it. So what I like to do is I like to grab this at the top, bring it down a little bit. So it's, it says roundness 28. I like to bring it up a little, and you'll see in your preview how you're changing your brush, okay? I typically like to keep it around 20, 20-ish 20 and then have my angle kind of up slightly higher. So it says 38% here, okay? Let's select a color, a darker color. And you can just So that's a great way for you to customize a hand lettering font. And of course, I would not be able to do any hand lettering without my Wacom tablet right here. I highly suggest this. Um, this is only, I think on a, I wanna say about $80, and it's going to be your best friend when you're hand lettering and using Photoshop. So that's it, it's really easy. That's just my favorite uh, way of customizing my brush to do all the hand lettering. So I hope you enjoyed it and please subscribe to our YouTube channel for more Photoshop tips and cool tips. All right, thanks guys, bye.